in the previous tutorial we have learned how to create this project and this drawing along with this schematic diagram now in this tutorial we will learn next set of commands if you want to view more such type of videos then please subscribe to my channel and press the bell icon let's start if you want to remove this project from project manager then you will have to right click on the project and click on close so that project will be removed and if you want to bring back that project then you will have to click here on open project click here for up one level so you will go back to your project directory from here you can select your desired project so i want to open this electrical one so double click on it select this electrical one project file click on open so that project will get opened then i want to create next project by copying this project to copy this project you will have to click here on project and click on copy then select existing project to copy if you want to copy active project then you can click here on copy active project and if you want to copy other project you can browse that project from here so i want to copy this active project so i will click here on copy active project so here it has copied that path and name of the project then some notes are here if the active drawing is one of those to be copied to a new project then cancel now open a different or new drawing so the drawing you want to copy is active then you will have to cancel it so the drawing we want to copy is open therefore we will click here on cancel then we will close this drawing and by clicking here on start drawing we will start other drawing then again click on copy click on copy active project click on okay then here you will have to select path and name for new project so for new project i want to create other folder so to come out of this folder click here on up one level so you will go back to your project directory then click here on create new folder to rename this folder just single click so it will go in editing mode and type here new name suppose my new project name is electrical 2 so i have given this name to folder and i want to give same name to my project and drawing so what i will do i will copy this content select it and right click click on copy then click outside to go inside this folder double click on it then you will have to specify your project name for that i will just right click and click on paste because i want same name if you want other name you can type it here click on save select drawings to process then you will have to select here drawings you want to transfer to your copied project for that select the drawing and click on process so that drawing will get transfer for copy and if you want to cancel all the drawings from this list you will have to click here on reset so all the drawings will be removed and if you want to copy all the drawings click on do all so all the drawings will be transferred for copy click on okay then enter base path for project drawings so the path shown here is correct and we have already created this electrical to folder if you want other path you can browse from here then we are in very initial stages therefore we have not used any of these files but once we go in advanced level then there may be these files with your project so you can tick those files which you want to copy then click on okay then if you want 
you can rename these drawing files or you can keep it the same suppose I want to rename it so select the drawing and click on edit then from here you can rename it suppose I want it to be electrical 2 click on ok click on ok so here electrical 2 project is added and electrical 2 drawing has been opened so click here so this drawing has been opened and that copied project has become active automatically if you want to know which project is active the active project is always at number 1 and it is shown in bold letters if I select here you can see that this project is in bold letter and active project is always at number 1 if suppose I activate this project extra library demo to activate you will have to right click on that project name and click on activate so here you will see that that project become active and it moved to number one position so I want this electrical to active so right click on electrical to click on activate now here electrical to came to number one position then if you close this project manager by mistake or if you don't have it there then you can bring it back by clicking on project and manager or command name is AE project you can also type AE project for project manager so that was about different commands for project then schematic in schematic we have learned how to insert icon using this icon menu if you click here on this arrow the next command is catalog browser you can also insert component using this catalog browser click here on catalog browser so here this catalog browser is shown and if you don't want to show it fully you can click here on auto hide so it will be invisible for some of you if it is invisible it will be shown like this and when it is there if you click here on catalog browser then there will not be any changes in your screen so in that case you will have to search where this catalog browser is written take your cursor there and click here on auto hide so it will become permanent and it will not auto hide automatically so we will see how to insert this push button using catalog browser I'll just turn it to auto hide before that if you want to remove this push button then don't use erase command if you use AutoCAD erase command press enter and select these objects and press enter then it will remove that component but it will not connect wire to remove any components you don't have to use erase command so to remove any component you will have to use this delete component click here on delete component then select component you want to remove and press enter so in the case of delete component your wire will be reconnected automatically then it is asking for search for or serve to children if that component have any children or peer devices that also it will search automatically and remove it if you click on ok now in this case I don't have any child component so I will just click on no then again click here in catalog browser at first you will have to define category or family name for the component so all the component has been shown here so you will have to choose as per your requirement so I want to insert push button so I will click here on push buttons if something is written in the search box select it and remove it by pressing delete button on keyboard and just click here on search so it will show all the push buttons so it has shown 75,000 plus records here is the catalog number, manufacturer, description of the component type, style, contacts and miscellaneous and assembly code so all the details will be shown so catalog browser is basically used to insert component as per your required manufacturer so these are the valid catalog numbers of that particular manufacturer 
if you scroll it down it is showing for Alan Bradley ABB and telemechanic so there are many manufacturers and in AutoCAD electrical you can install as many manufacturers as you want but that much space should be available on your hard drive so here I have installed few manufacturers and if you want you can add or remove those manufacturers anytime using windows control panel if you want to search a particular push button as per catalog number suppose I have this catalog number so you can directly type here catalog number suppose my catalog number is mpd 11 g and press enter so it has reduced it down to 45 counts so it will show all the push buttons from that catalog and here you can see what is the difference in them so here you can see their ratings are different so you can select from this list as per your requirement and suppose if you want to see all the push buttons of ABB manufacturer then you can directly type here ABB and press enter so here it has shown 24,000 plus push buttons so you can type here and search for your desired push button suppose I want to insert this push button so click on that line now it contains four buttons first is insert a symbol you select from the icon menu so here horizontal and vertical symbol is shown you can choose your desired symbol if you click here on show assembly details it will show details of that particular push button close again click if you take cursor here it will show website of manufacturer in this particular case PDF file is also available if you click on it it will take you to internet explorer and it will download that pdf file and if you are going to use this push button again and again so you can add that catalog number to favorite list just click on it so here is the favorite list if you click there it will show all the previously added components so i want to insert this one click I want it horizontal so click on this symbol then keep your snap mode on so that it will be inserted exactly at our required position click so here you will see that it has automatically added manufacturer and catalog details and if you want to add other details add them and click on ok so in this way you can add component using catalog browser and if you want to add catalog details to other component then take your cursor over that component and right click and click on edit component so it will bring that insert edit component to apply manufacturer catalog and assembly details you will have to click here on lookup it will show you catalog browser and it will automatically select type of component then from here you can apply the details suppose I want this one and click on ok so those details will be added to your component so in this way you can add details to your existing component also the selected symbol is not mapped to the selected catalog number if you are sure that you are always going to use same component with the same manufacturer then you can map this symbol to that particular catalog number and if you know you are going to use from other manufacturers also then click here on do not map symbol to catalog number and if you don't want to show this dialog box again you can tick here do not show me this again so next time it will not show it to you so I will click here on do not map symbol to catalog number you can also edit component by clicking here on this edit button then select the component so here that catalog details has been added click on ok and I will again click on do not map 
then in insert component we will learn about this multiple insert icon menu how to insert multiple icons at a time again to remove this component i will click here on delete component you can also use window selection click in empty space on left side and take your cursor on right side so it will show blue window don't click on the right side and take your cursor on left side because it will show green window so it will select all the component which has been crossed so we want to select only these components and we don't want to select wires therefore you will have to use this window selection so it will select all the objects within that window so click and right click or you can also press enter then again i don't have any child so i will click on no then click on multiple insert select component to insert so i want to insert circuit breaker click on circuit breaker one pole so before that i want to show one more feature for this multiple insert so i will just press escape and i will create one wire i will turn off this snap mode suppose i have one wire here press enter turn snap mode on click on multiple insert and recently used component has been shown here so select this circuit breaker one pole specify first point of fence so i will click here take your cursor on the right side so it will insert in all the crossed wires suppose i will click here second point right click so here one circuit breaker is inserted from here you can control what you want to do so i want to insert this circuit breaker so i will select this keep this one then if you want to see component edit dialog box then you will have to tick here so i want to view it so tick is already there click on okay if you want to add any details you can add it here you can add catalog data also click on okay it has inserted here and it moved to next wire now i don't want to insert in this wire to avoid insertion you will have to click here on no skip to next and click on okay so it has not inserted there i want to insert in both the wires so for that you can click here keep all and don't ask so it will not ask again whether you want to keep this one and it will insert in next both the wires then i don't want to see dialog box so remove this tick so it will not show dialog box and if you want to force component tag to fixed if you fix component tag it will not be updated during retag so click on okay so here this three circuit breakers has been added and to remove this wire click here on trim wire and then to select that wire turn this snap mode off select it press enter turn snap mode on so in this way you can insert multiple component in single command if you click here on this arrow there is one more command multiple insert pick master that means you can also insert existing component from your circuit then here it has added line numbers automatically if you want to remove those line numbers click here on arrow near move show attribute and click on hide attribute single pick turn this snap mode off and select these attributes to hide press enter turn this snap mode on so using this multiple insert pick master you can insert component from your circuit suppose i want to insert this push button here also so click here on multiple insert then here select component to copy so click on this push button specify from point for a fence so click here take your cursor below click 
right click I want to keep all don't ask and I don't want to see this show edit dialog after each so remove this tick and I want this component tag to be fixed so click here and click on ok so here this push buttons has been added and if you observe it this push button tag is in yellow color but this push button tag is in white color because we have fixed it just take your cursor over push button right click click on edit component from here you can make it fixed or unfixed if I remove this tick and click on ok so it will become yellow so if your tag are fixed they will not re-tag when we run the command so in this way you can insert component using this multiple insert pick master then in this group here is one more command link component with dashed line so click on it suppose I want to link these circuit breakers with dashed line just turn this snap mode off then component to link from so I want to link from this component click on it then component to link to so I want to link to this and this component press enter so a dash line will be added and tags for other components will be turned off so in this way you can add dash line between components then in the previous tutorial we have seen how to use scoot to adjust position of component same way you can use scoot to adjust position of wire also click on scoot make snap mode on click on the wire you want to adjust take your cursor below and click again click on the wire take your cursor on the right side click so in this way you can use scoot to adjust wire also I want to bring this wire inside make this snap mode off click on this wire then make snap mode on and take it inside and click press escape so in this way you can use scoot to adjust wire position then if you want to move one component from one wire to other wire then click here on this arrow of scoot and here is move component click suppose I want this push button in this wire so click on this push button take your cursor on this wire and click so in this way you can move component from one wire to other wire then if you want it normally open here is button for toggle NONC so click and click on your component if it is normally closed it will become normally open and if it is normally open click here on snap mode off and click so if it is normally open it will become normally closed press enter then if you want to copy component click here on copy component then select component you want to copy make snap mode on and click on wire where you want to copy it and if you want you can change the content here it has automatically updated your component tag you can add other details click on ok so in this way you can copy component also so that's all for now in the next tutorial we will learn next set of commands so thanks for watching we will stop here